uh, treating inventory as non-incidental material or supplies. So if you account for inventories as materials and supplies that are not incidental, you deduct the amounts paid or incurred to acquire or produce the uh, inventoriable items treated as non-incidental materials and supplies in the year in which they are first used or consumed in your operations. Inventory treated as non-incidental materials and supplies is used or consumed in your business in the year you, you provide the inventory to your customers. So financial accounting treatment of inventories. Your financial accounting treatment of inventories is determined with regard to the method of accounting you use in your applicable financial statement. So, you, you know, again, the general idea is that they want you to kind of follow what you're doing on the books side, side of things. Now, obviously, if you're a small business and you're reporting on a Schedule C, it's not like you're a publicly, publicly traded company that's creating financial statements that are required for external reporting to investors. So, the only, so you might not be reporting, obviously, external financial statements if you're a small business on a Schedule C, unless you need something like a loan or financing or something like that. But the general idea is that you're, you know, you're, the system you're using for the bookkeeping that would be used to create your financial statements would generally be kind of the system that you would use for, for your, your taxes in terms of an accrual method, cash method, or a combo. So for financial accounting treatment of inventories uh, is determined with regard to the method of accounting you use in your applicable financial statement as defined in section 451b3 or if you do not have an applicable financial statement with regard to the method of accounting you use in your books and records that have been prepared in accordance with your accounting procedures. So changing your method of accounting for inventory. So what about if I, if I need to change it? And possibly that may happen if you're on a cash-based method and you're saying, well, I think it might be more appropriate for me to be on an accrual-based method given the fact that I have inventory and possibly that that inventory has increased or something like that. So if you want to change your method of accounting for inventory, you must file form 3115, application for change in accounting method. So you gotta ask the IRS for permission. So see change in accounting method later. Now you would think that if you had a rational reason for it, meaning inventory has gone up and I was on a cash-based method and I think the inventory has gone up to the point where it would be more appropriate for me to use an accrual method, at least with regards to the inventory sales and whatnot, then you would think they would accept that kind of, of rationale. If you just were like, whatever, willy-nilly, I just want to change it because I want to change it kind of thing, then they might argue you would think for consistency. So consistency. Uh, so items include an inventory. So if you are required to account for inventories, include the following items when accounting for your inventory. So you got the merchandise or stock and trade. Obviously, if you just buy stuff, mark it up and sell stuff, the stuff you're buying and planning to sell is inventory. And then we got the raw material. So if you're gonna, the other kind of inventory situation we have is one in which we're gonna be making things, either using a job cost system or a process cost system oftentimes, where we're gonna buy raw materials, we're gonna start to work on them, work in process, and then we'll have the finished goods that are putting the raw materials together with our overhead and our, our uh, labor. Work in process, that's the middle step of that manufacturing process when the finished goods aren't done, they're still kind of raw. They're not raw anymore, but they're, they're not finished either. And then you got the finished products when we converted the raw materials into that finished goods, ready to sell. Supplies that physically become a part of the item intended for sale. 